The empathy tool is the fourth toolbox tool. To help us get our minds and bodies ready to learn, we use the breathing tool. Breathe in, breathe out, one. Breathe in, breathe out, two. Breathe in, breathe out, three. Breathe in, breathe out, four. Breathe in, breathe out, five. This is a level. It is a tool people use to make sure things are level. The icon for the empathy tool is a level because with empathy, we learn to balance other people's needs emotions, and situations with our own. The empathy hand gesture are our hands in front of us with our palms up just like we are holding an imaginary level. We slowly raise our left hand while we drop our right hand. Then we raise our right hand while we drop our left hand just like a seesaw. Practice with me. Hands in front, facing up. One hand goes up, while the other hand goes down, switching back and forth. This helps us remember that we need to weigh both sides of a situation. The idea is that we need to care for ourselves and care for others. What is empathy? Empathy means thinking of how another person is feeling and trying to understand why they feel that way. The tagline for the empathy tool is I care for myself and I care for others. Say that with me. I care for myself and I care for others. It is time to use our imaginations to practice using the empathy tool. Remember that empathy is having an open heart. Place both feet on the floor, your hands on your knees. Sit upright with your head balanced easily. Let your eyes gaze on one spot, or close them if you like. Take three slow belly breaths with one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart. And remember that your heart is your most important empathy connection to yourself and to others. Remember, your heart can tell you a lot about what you are feeling. It can help imagine what someone else might be feeling. Notice how your own heart can shine a light of empathy on you. Then notice how your heart helps you notice what a friend might be feeling when they are having a bad day. Remember that you can always ask yourself, I wonder what happened that made my friend feel that way. Now remember that empathy is part of who you are. And when you are ready, wiggle your fingers and toes and bring yourself back into the room, fully awake, aware, and ready for what is next.